Welcome to our lecture online. In our next example, we have kind of an interesting wave. We have a triangular portion and a rectangular portion to the wave, and we're trying to find the RMS voltage. So our general equation, which is described here, is now going to become the following. It's going to be equal to the square root of 1 over the period. In this case, the period goes from 0 to 2, so 1 over 2, multiplied times the integral of the two portions. Now here we have to take the two portions separately, so we're going to call this v1 squared from 0 to 1 plus the integral of v2 squared from 1 to 2. So notice we're going to have an equation describing this slope right here and an equation describe the function over here. So what we can do here is say that v1 of time is equal to Looks like the slope is 2, that would be 2 times t, and v2 as a function of time would be equal to a constant, negative 4. So those are the two uh, voltage functions for the two portions of the wave. So vrms is going to be equal to the square root of 1 half times the first function from 0 to 1, we get 2t squared, of course, I need dt's in here. Let me quickly put in some dt's, otherwise it doesn't look very good, does it? So 2t quantity squared times dt plus the integral from 1 to 2 of negative 4 squared times dt. All right, that's better. Now go ahead, let's go ahead and do the integral. So, or maybe I should write this out first, vrms. It's always better to avoid mistakes by cleaning this up a little bit first, so we have 1 half times the integral from 0 to 1 of 4t squared dt plus the integral from 1 to 2 of 16 times dt. All right, so let's come over here and finish it up. So vrms is equal to the square root of 1 half times 4t squared becomes 4t cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to 1. Need another bracket here. And then we add to that plus 16t evaluated from 1 to 2. And let's see, and we close the bracket here. All right, I think we have that so far. So VRMS is equal to the square root of 1 half times. When we plug in the upper limit here, we get 4 thirds. Plug in the lower limit, we get 0, so that gives us 4 thirds. And then plus here, we have, when we plug in the upper limit, we get 32. Minus when we plug in the lower limit, we get 16. Like this. So this is equal to the square root of 1 half times 4 thirds plus 16 which is equal to the square root of 1 half times, that would be 17 and a third, 17 and 1 third, like this. And now let's go ahead and resort to a calculator. So we have uh, 4 thirds plus 16, divide by 2, and now take the square root, we get 2.94. So finally, VRMS is equal to 2.94 volts. All right, so you can see that things are a little bit different here. We need to be very careful. We do have a period of two, so therefore the period here will still be two, but we have two contributions to the numerator here. We're going to integrate the first portion from zero to one and the second portion from one to two. So we have two separate integrals, each represented the portion of the, um, of the wave that can be identified by these two functions right here, the voltages, and then the rest is just cranking, uh, cranking forward and getting the final answer. But the tricky part is right here, what do we do with the translation of this equation relative to this waveform? And now you can see that's how it's done.